and welcome to the Black Cat Bushcraft channel. I'm Matt. Today I wanted to add another installment into our cordage series of videos and this time I'll be talking about the sheet bin and how to tie the sheet bin in three different ways. So if you'll stick with me, we'll get started on that right now. All right, the main benefit of knowing how to tie a sheet bin is being able to join two pieces of cordage together. For instance, if you had two shorter pieces of cordage and you wanted to join them together to create one long piece, um, or any application where you need to join two pieces of cordage together, that's, this is an excellent way to do it. So the first I'm going to show you is just a basic sheet bin. All right, and all we'll do is fold a bite into the cord. We just fold it back on itself. All right, and at that time, I'm going to bring my secondary cord straight up through that loop, and I'm going to wrap it around behind the bite. I want to make sure that you can see that clearly. So I just wrap it around behind the bite. And that forms a little bite right here, which I'm now going to take that same orange end, I apologize for the shadow, and come back through that bite, just like this. All right, so before I cinch that down, I'm going to let you see what it looks like. It's very simple and quick knot to tie. And then at that point, if I cinch this down, all right, I'm going to cinch it a little bit. I'll have my sheet bin. Now, one way to tell whether you've absolutely tied this correctly is one cordage is going to fold parallel to itself, in this case the olive drab. The other one is going to be tied such that the tag end is, or working end, is at a 90 degree perpendicular to that cord. You can see what that looks like. And that's a, a telltale sign that you've got your sheet bin tied correctly. And the beauty of that is if we really cinch down and put that under a load, it just binds tighter and tighter. However, when we get ready to undo our two pieces of cordage, it's relatively easy to break the back of that knot and recover your cordage. Okay, That's the beauty of it. I always like knots that I can recover my cordage when I want. Okay, So we're going to do that again real quick. Um, it's just fold a bite into one piece, come up from the bottom, and wrap it just around that bite. Just wrap all the way back around. Hopefully you can see that clearly. And now I'm going to take that tag in, or working in, and come through this bite. And then I just cinch down the two together, and you've created a sheet bin. Alright, I want to show you a second way to do this. The second way I want to show you with this sheet bin is what's called a double sheet bin. And we're going to start with that same bite that we took in our cord the first time. And we come up with our secondary cord through the loop. And we go under and back over, just like before. And this creates a bite, and you're going to bring your tag in right back through that. Sorry, I'm standing at such an angle that it makes this difficult. Okay, now, that's a sheet bin. For the double sheet bin, all we're going to do is wrap it back around one more time and go back through that loop again, just like that. And now when we cinch it, we've got that one extra layer of security helping to hold this thing all together. And if I'm in a situation where I really want to make sure, you know, that... that this cordage does not come apart, then I'll take the time to add that extra loop. I mean, it's just a matter of a second or two to make it a double sheet bin as opposed to a single sheet bin. Let's do that once more. Right, quick. so the double sheet bin done once more. We have our two pieces of cordage. We make a bite in the first, come up through the bottom, wrap it around, right, and that creates a bite, which we'll now just bring our cordage down through. Right, that is the single sheet bin right there. Now to make the double, we just come back over and through the same loop again. And technically, you don't have to stop at a double. You could do a triple, although I haven't seen anybody use that before. I did it just playing, but double sheet bin right there. Cinch it down tight, and there's your knot. Just one extra level of security. All right, the third version that I'm going to show you is called the slippery sheet bin. We still have the same two pieces of cordage. And we start exactly the same way with a bite. We come up through the bottom, just like before, and we wrap it around. Give myself a little extra cordage. Here's where the difference takes place. So instead of doing a standard sheet bin or a double sheet bin, instead of putting the end of the cordage through, what I'm going to do is take a bite 
in my working end or tag end however you like to call it and I'm going to take that bite I apologize this is a hard angle to do that but I take the bite through instead of the cord in and then when I cinch it down this is what I have and so it looks just like a sheet bend we've got that parallel cordage and then we've got that 90 degree perpendicular but then what we have here is this little loop and so it's just as strong as a sheet bin would be, but when we want to untie it, we simply pull this, and our knot comes undone. Let's do that one once more. All right, so for the slippery sheet bin, we take a bite, bring our working in up through the bottom, wrap it around, and here's the difference. We're going to fold a bite in our working end and that bite sorry this is hard to do with this angle that bite comes through the loop okay just like that I'm gonna leave that loose so you can see it right now when we cinch everything together dress it up a little bit that's our slippery slippery sheet bin okay you pull it tight as you want yank it all right you can see it holds tight and then when we want to recover our cordage it all comes undone quickly and that's the slippery sheet bin all right well i'd like to thank you guys for taking the time to tune in for this quick tutorial on how to tie the sheet bend i hope you can see clearly the three different versions one being the single the double and then the slippery i guess they're all really interchangeable it just depends on your personal preference or maybe you would choose one over the other based on the application if you have any questions or you'd like to make comments, by all means, feel free to do that. And I always enjoy uh, getting to answer those questions and respond to comments as fast as I can on this channel. If you haven't subscribed, by all means, I would appreciate you doing that. Subscribe to the Black Hat Bushcraft channel. And I hope to have another video coming out for you very soon. And I look forward to talking to you then. And until then, take care and God bless.